hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making clay stuff clay creations um cute diys with clay let's jump right into it okay so what you're going to need is some air dry clay and then some sort of tool that you can use all right let's get started so roll it into a ball kind of like this and then you're just going to flatten it out. Make sure it doesn't get stuck to your surface. So pick it up and flip it around every couple of times. Okay, just keep you on evenly spreading it out. So I'm going to start on making the shape of it. A heart. What a lovely heart. <laughs> Just smoothing out with my thumb. If you want, you can get a little tool and smooth out the sides here. This is just a bit of broken fork that I'm using here. <laughs> Anything works. And now it's a little bit of a tricky part. Now, I say this because I've never actually done this before. <laughs> it's getting off the table because it's very stuck to the table right at the moment. Okay. So the tip is to get a bit of dental floss. So you're just going to grab a bit out, wrap it around your fingers, and then you're going to get it as close to the table as you can, and you're going to slide it through underneath your work i think i need a longer piece be generous with your amount let's try it again then just bring it up slow and steady wins the race oh okay that kind of worked it's not stuck on the table anymore Try to scrape that off. I'm just going to set that to the side a little bit. And I'm going to get some more clay out. About that much. I have no idea actually. But we'll make it work. And then just start rolling it. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're just going to wrap this around like this oops it broke oh be careful because it does tend to break at least mine does and then you've got it around now is the part when you have to smooth it all down Okay, so this is what I have come up with. Not perfect, but pretty good. And yet again, it's gotten stuck to my table, so just gonna go back on with my dental floss. <gasps> that is not good. Oh dear. So I'm just gonna go from the top to the bottom. Okay, so I'm thinking that looks pretty good. This one is much more fragile, so I hope this one doesn't break. Pretty good. I'm going to go in and get some clay for the outside rim. So now it's the time to spread out the little railing things. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I've kind of done this the best that I can. It was definitely much harder than the heart and it doesn't look exactly how I wanted it to look like. But it looks good, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm just going to take it off the table. And then I will let it dry. Okay. Alright, so it's the next day and my little jewellery dishes have dried. Um, and the first step now that this one needs a lot is to file it down a little bit because of the sides are a little rough. Yes, I'm just using my nail file because that's what I have. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up this mess. It is time to paint for the star. I'm probably gonna go with a light blue. So I'm just gonna mix that up now. It's not really bright like I would want it to be. You know what, I'm just gonna start again. Alright, so I'm just going to start off by painting this. Oh, Yeah, I think I like that colour. Okay, that's the first coat done. And then for the heart, my idea is to do like... I'll just put a picture here. Alright, let's paint the heart. so good and I'm gonna paint some clouds all right let's go these are my finished jewelry dishes I think they are super duper cute um, and I reckon you guys should do this as well